Welcome to the first episode of World in Color, where we take a colorful look at the month behind us. A recent survey showed that over 50% of Americans are now in favor of legalizing marijuana. Rumors are that even President Obama is leaning towards supporting it, as being under the influence of weed might be the only way to understand what the is going on in Kim Jong-un's head. Speaking of the devil, Kim Jong-un managed to find time in his busy, threatening schedule to celebrate the birthday of his grandfather, Kim Il-sung. With tearful celebrations of singing, dancing, and marching, the isolated nation of North Korea truly takes the cake on being the king of parties performed at gunpoint. While we're on the topic of colorful events, on his visit to Germany, Russian President Vladimir Putin received quite a unique welcome when he was stopped by topless protesters shouting F***ing dictator at him. Fortunately for Germany, Putin was not offended, thinking it was just a heartwarming welcoming gift from Angela Merkel. Regarding gifts, the president of France, François Hollande, received the sad news that his camel that he had received as a gift for helping Mali had been eaten by a local family. The camel was quickly replaced with a new one, which will be sent straight to Paris. Hollande was very moved and responded, thank you, I'll alert my chefs. However, camels seem to be history in Dubai, where the local police force introduced their latest weapon against fighting crime, the low-slung, half-a-million-dollar Lamborghini. Dubai police officials are proud of their new pet, saying that this will surely stop all getaway drivers in their tracks. Unless, of course, they drive up on the sidewalk. And let's end this episode with a great example of a first world problem. The Swedish furniture giant Ikea announced that it has withdrawn 17,000 portions of mousse lasagna from its home furnishing stores in Europe after 1.6% of pork was found in a batch tested in Belgium. Oh yeah, Africa, that's how much food we have. And that was April in Color. See you next time.